What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and today we have something extremely interesting and exciting to talk about because it looks like Galactus almost made his debut in Thor Love and Thunder. Marvel Studios has confirmed there were ideas for a scene. There's even official concept art of Galactus in Thor Love and Thunder. However, they scrapped it. Clearly, because we never saw him in Thor Love and Thunder. But it was there. At one point in time, they were considering introducing Galactus into the MCU in Thor Love and Thunder. However, Galactus was not going to fight Thor. Instead, he was going to fight the mighty Thor, Jane Foster. And it looks like she was going to possibly fight him alone. Now, we're going to dive into this and other deleted scenes as well that official concept art has been released for, but I just want to say that I am glad this didn't happen, and you'll see in a bit when we dive into what this scene could have been. But I do believe that Galactus is possibly on his way. There are a lot of great signs that he is indeed coming, and the Silver Surfer will indeed come before him. So let's dive into these deleted scenes and talk about the future of the Silver Surfer and Galactus. But first, if you're new, we are doing a Marvel Legends giveaway. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win an item, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below on our videos. The winner will be announced in videos. Now this official concept art is coming from Anthony Lee Wynn who worked on Thor Love and Thunder. Anthony has recently released a lot of concept art he designed for the movie and in this is concept art that he created for a Galactus scene that of course was never in the movie. If you take a look right here, clearly this is Galactus, the devourer of worlds. And like I mentioned, it's just Jane Foster fighting Galactus. He's extremely comic accurate, and I'm sure he would have appeared to be much bigger in the actual scene if they would have actually used him. But in this concept art, and again, it's concept art, there's only so much you can show, but in this concept art, he is not nearly as big as he should be when he finally makes it to the MCU. He should be at least as large as a Celestial. And then the Eternals, the Celestials were so big that when they came to Earth, you could pretty much only see the head of a Celestial because they are so big when they get up close, you can't see their entire body. But again, it's concept art. It's just to show the concept of what the scene could be like. Now, it looks like clearly she is fighting him. There's a lot of debris in the background, a lot of broken rocks off of whatever planet or moon or whatever she's on. And in another scene, we can actually see her fighting through to break all of these in space to fight against the mighty Galactus. Now, this scene would have been crazy cool, but I think most fans would agree that this is not the proper way to introduce Galactus into the MCU. It's a very, very kind of under underwhelming way to introduce the Galactus because there are a few ways that this scene could have went down. Since Thor isn't there, it kind of seems like this could have been a time where Jane was simply protecting the Earth by herself when Thor was off world. We know that Jane Foster became the mighty Thor and there was a little bit of time in between then and when Thor returned to Earth and met her again. Enough that she came up with, according to Valkyrie, several different catchphrases that never really landed. However, she does go on to say in the final cut of the movie that Gore is her first bad guy. But it looks like if some of these scenes actually remained in the movie, we probably would have seen some sort of a montage of her fighting off different beings and different monsters on Earth while Thor wasn't there. Because it also is very apparent that when Thor gets there and everybody is fighting in New Asgard, when Jane comes out as the mighty Thor, she clearly knows what she's doing, which means she's kind of done it before. So just a tiny continuity error there from some deleted scenes in the final cut. So this would have been very underwhelming. It wouldn't really have been made into a big deal. It kind of just would have been a scene between Jane Foster's The Mighty Thor and Galactus. It almost would have been played off just kind of like, yeah, Jane, she fought a bunch of different people and they just showed Galactus, didn't even mention him who he would be, but they just showed Jane fighting him. And I don't know about you, but that's not how I want Galactus to be introduced into the MCU. Right away, right now, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. We're not done talking about Galactus or the Silver Surfer, but let me know your thoughts on if this would have been okay or not. I don't believe so. But it is very cool that Marvel Studios is kicking around the idea of having Galactus show up. And according to some recent reports, it does seem like Galactus is on his way. A report that came out not too long ago from the CosmicCircus.com states that a Silver Surfer special presentation is on its way, and that this special presentation is going to make its debut before the Fantastic Four movie comes out. So this will most likely come in phase five or very, very early, Phase 6, since the Fantastic Four are pretty much coming in the beginning of Phase 6. 
But the arrival of the Silver Surfer usually signifies the arrival of Galactus. After all, the Silver Surfer gets his powers by becoming the Herald of Galactus, and Galactus shares some of the power cosmic with him. The Silver Surfer's original name is Norrin Rad, and he pretty much makes a plea deal with Galactus to spare his world and his people. He becomes his Herald, becoming the Silver Surfer, seeking out worlds for Galactus to come devour. So if the Silver Surfer is on his way to the MCU, that means Galactus is probably not that far behind. It is also worth noting that James Gunn did debunk a Silver Surfer rumor recently. There was some people online talking about how the post credit scene for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is going to be the Silver Surfer. But James Gunn, in true fashion, went online and said that this is false. So don't expect the Silver Surfer to show up in a post credit scene in Guardians Volume 3. However, James Gunn has not come out and debunked a Silver Surfer special presentation. Granted, it doesn't have to do with the Guardians, which is his project, and he may not know anything about it, but he debunked other Silver Surfer rumors, and you would think that he might debunk that one as well. But the Cosmic Circus has been pretty accurate with their reports, so I would expect a Silver Surfer special presentation to come in the not-so-far future. But what does this mean for Galactus? Is Galactus going to have his own entire saga? I actually don't think so. You see, Galactus isn't technically and necessarily a villain. He is actually a cosmic balance. He creates balance for the cosmos, for the entire universe. This is actually what Eternity says, and this explains why other cosmic beings like Eternity and the Living Tribunal don't actually stop Galactus. In some stories, of course, stories change in the comics all the time. The only question is, how will he be portrayed in the MCU? Is he going to be a huge threat like Thanos was, or is he simply going to be involved in maybe one or two movies. After all, Galactus has been easily defeated before by the Fantastic Four and many others. In fact, Franklin Richards, the son of Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, basically used Galactus as a puppet. Galactus actually served him. But Franklin Richards was also possibly the strongest mutant to ever possibly exist in Marvel history. But I'm assuming that Galactus will most likely be a Fantastic Four villain, probably not till later on down the road though, past Phase 7. And the reason I believe this is because Kevin Feige doesn't typically like to go down the same route that other previous movies or franchises have gone down. So since the Fantastic Four and the Rise of the Silver Surfer tackled Galactus, albeit very poorly, he might not want to go down that same path. However, the Celestials were introduced introduced in the internals, and they were done very, very well. I love how they were portrayed, I love the size of them, I love the importance of them, and Galactus would fit very well within this storyline. In fact, I do believe that Erishim, the Celestial at the very end of the Eternals, could possibly send Galactus to Earth for their judgment slash punishment if he deems them not really worthy enough to live and he wants Earth destroyed. The Eternals did kill a Celestial and they are going to be judged, and Erishim also did say that the fate of the world would be determined by them as well. And since they killed the Celestial, it's probably not going to be that good, so he could send Galactus to devour that world. The MCU typically does different iterations of comic book characters to keep it fresh, so who knows what will happen of Galactus in the MCU when he finally comes. If you have any theories, let me know down below, but let me know what you think about Galactus possibly showing up in Thor Love and Thunder. I'm glad he didn't, but let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news and theories. For live updates, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.